You can't say good morning. It's good afternoon. <laughs> We're having a late start. <laughs> it's good afternoon. It's 20 past two. We're at Fursk Station. It's the 2nd of August. What's about to happen, Jeff? We're going to head north. And do more of all the stations. Let's go. We are at first, Vic is holding a tea as you can see, that's in a mug. And I don't know why, but when I saw the word first on a map, I just, my brain sort of read the word first. I don't know why, because first has got a K in it, yeah. I was, I, it just made me think of the word flask. Yeah. It made me think, if you combine the word yeah. thirst yeah. and flask, yeah. you get the word thirst. <laughs> the lovely David and Honor, who are behind us right now, ha have actually brought us a flask of tea. So you've actually turned up with a flask. <laughs> Of tea and and this. So thanks for the flask and a copy of the Thirsk the Thirsk Weekly News. Are you feeling thirsty? Right, I cannot be the first person. Look, David's not. I cannot be the first person to make that rubbish gag. I, I think David's being generous. <laughs> he's, he's just being polite, isn't he? Yeah. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Give us three amazing things about Thirsk. Well, it's connected with Magna Carta, it's got a wonderful race course, and we have the Thirst Yarn Bombers who decorate the town centre with wonderful knitting. Which I've been given a piece of. Yorkshire, it's raining. This is yarn. We were chatting to a yarn local earlier, and they said that um, Yarm is now in Stockton, but it used to be part of Yorkshire, and that recently, or relatively recently, they had a referendum locally to say, did the people of Yarm want to now go back into Yorkshire? And everybody voted, and the overwhelming uh, vote, the final vote was, yes, they do want to go back to Yorkshire, but nothing has happened. <laughs> Apparently, I don't think that's a deal they can uh, make. No! Yay! No! Woohoo! No, what? It's a pacer! We're going to 1537 to Newcastle and Hexham. Indeed. Before we leave Thornaby, you're going to tell us an amazing fact about Thornaby. Well, I want people out there to corroborate it. I asked people on Facebook Live. Oh, hang can, can we do it? Get the train. Can, we do it? can we do it on the train? I can only find information on Wikipedia, which I don't like to take purely for granted. I like to use multiple sources. Um, but this isn't the original station, this is a new-ish station, um, built after the original was demolished in the 80s. But apparently there was a competition when the station was being built between local stonemasons to come up with design ideas. And they received over a hundred, and so a hundred different stonemasonry designs were incorporated into the building. There used to be a plaque here, but they got melted down for the war effort in the Second World War. Are these facts true? I think he has a story about Hartlepool. <laughs> Something about a monkey? Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, so folklore. Folklore. Around Hartlepool. Legend. This is not verbatim truth. It might be. During the Napoleonic Wars, a ship washed up in Hartlepool and the only survivor was a monkey and the people of Hartlepool, suspecting that it might be a French spy, hung the monkey just to be sure, and they've forever been known as the Monkey Hangers, and Hartlepool Football Club has a mascot, which is Hangers the Monkey. That's why you always If you're from Hartlepool and you'd like to corroborate or maybe dispute this fact, the comment box is all yours below. <laughs> I'm told that at Sunderland, the National Rail tracks aren't separate from the Metro tracks. They share them. How cool is that? I had no idea. That's the Weymouth Bridge. Metro! It does share the track. That looks like an abandoned station. Not Weymouth. <laughs>
another pacer. And over there, a sprinter. And over here is a Jeffster. Hi. It, it's a grey day. We, we wanted the weather to be better. It's not. But we are at Metro Centre. And over here is a lovely lady called Angela. Hello. The station just serves, what, this huge shopping centre? It's a big hub for the whole region, whole area, where people can come and meet to eat and shop. And, and there's lots of leisure for some of these. Do most people get the train here or do some people drive? It's a mixture, half and half. Um, people do drive and it gets extremely busy. Do you prefer coming by train? I, I get the impression that you like trains. I do like travelling on the train. Why do you like travelling on the train, Angel? I like travelling <laughs> on the train because you can appreciate the view yeah. um, and you get to meet lovely people um, and it's quite a social thing. Are you, are you including us in that? I am, yes. Oh, no, I am. <laughs> Yay! We didn't even ask her to say Finally, that. one person. Angel, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> Bye, Angela. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So many things to mention in 30 seconds. <laughs> that all just happened. And um, right, okay. go. But one, uh, when in Newcastle, uh, by Greg's tea. Uh, tick. Uh, two, I, I wanted to say how this reminds me of Gatwick Airport, as in there's no like station front or station building. The entrance to the station appears to lead directly into the shopping centre. A bit like Gatwick Airport just leads directly into the station. I tried to take some video to demonstrate this inside the shopping centre I and mean, then about three seconds was shot down by a security guard for filming. It's like they know, it's like they have a sixth sense, man with a video camera, man with a video camera, vroom. Oh, and the third thing is that we're on the magic Chat Hill train. Um, I need to get my map out for this, but yesterday I got it wrong. All right, well done, YouTube. And when do we your got... research, Jeff. I know. Oh, sorry, do your research, do your research. Jeff. Uppercase. But I meant to say, after a British steel red car, that uh, that's the last awkward station in England. But no, because this train is the magic train. I just said to the guy, I went, is this the magic train? He went, you what, lad? <laughs> I went, it's the magic train that goes to Chat Hill. Morpeth, Pegswood, Widrington, Accrington, Almouth for Annick does get stopped up by East Coast services, but then Chat Hill, the evil Chat Hill, one train in the morning, one train in the evening. And we're on it. the station's live recap channel where I did a periscope live from Manners here the other night. Manners. And here. 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 There it is. Hey everyone, that's Dan. Hello. Dan's gonna wave at us. <laughs> what's what's the Annick, Dan? The Annick Castle and Garden. Don't um, featured don't, in Harry Potter. Don't tell Vicky there's a castle. It's very quaint. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this is a tiny moment. There's clearly some people that have come to meet us. Welcome, welcome to the cutest station on the East Coast Main Line. Welcome to Chat Hill. We've made it. <laughs> Have you come to meet us? Yes, we've, we've come to say hello. Were well, you the lovely lady on Twitter that offered to bring tea? Yes, I was. <laughs> Are you a Chat Hill local then? I am a Chat Hill local. That's what, my house over what, there. What, the signal box? No, no, <laughs> oh, beyond the signal box. What the heck is what in is Chat Hill and how do you feel about only having two trains a day? Um, <laughs> there's nice people in Chat Hill. Right. Because there's, 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 yeah, there's only about six houses here. No, no, there, there is more than six. There's six just here. There's about 22 in total. Okay. Um, and it's fine, they're only being two trains. Really? You don't you don't want to say to Virgin, who are watching, please stop more of your trains here? Stop, only if you're going to stop very slowly and quietly. <laughs> but if you're going to go to Edinburgh, then stop definitely. Look, literally, it's just two trains a day. It's, it's... It's really not many. We've come in on the 1849, we're going back out on the 1910.
with this gentleman leaflet. But he does want to be on camera. We we'll have met a gentleman. This is so funny. And he's like, "What are you doing?" And well, we told him. This is not. It's funny. It for is us funny. It's not and he's he, he's out, he's out on a cycling tour with his friend, and his bike's broken. And he sees the station. He thinks I've saved a station, only to find out it's a station that gets two trains a day. So he's been sat here for five hours waiting for this train. But Vicky, yes. you see this train pulling in now. What type of train is it? Well, I guess it gets a pacer. It's going to be our last ever pacer what? of the train. This is it. After this. There's no more paces. No more paces. Last time you're getting on a pacer. Well, I feel sad about this. Last time. You can't just spring things like this on me. And it's all the paces. All of them. All of them. All the paces. How does that make you feel? <laughs> That's your last ever pacer. I don't want to give it up. That's your last ever pacer. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. It's going to be okay. Vicky, it's a pacer. You got yourself a pacer, Vicky. It's a pacer. <laughs> pacer. Sorry, What's the train now? Another pacer. My favourite type of train. Yeah. This ours. It's a pacer. Yeah. <laughs> Is it basically just pacers from now on? Oh no. Oh no! Get yourself a pacer, Vicky! That's how we keep fit on all stations. This pacer here, yeah. Northern Rail, is really in love with this mm. Mersey Rail train. And we're on to the Blackwall train. Which is uh, the, uh, it's, it's a pacer. I'm just, I'm just not in the pacer club. I feel excited because we've got we've confused everybody that thinks is it's just tracking us because we've got our Almuth for Annick yep. to meet this gentleman here. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Having been wrenched off the pace, <laughs> uh, we're at our final stop for the day, which is Almuth for Annick, and we've just met the lovely Tom. Hello, Tom. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, Vicky. Um, and you, you, you've come to meet us to tell us a little bit about the station, but also is it the yeah. Valley Al? Al well, Alm Almuth was originally the junction for Annick, about a two and a half mile branch line that curves around to the north, follows the trees and follows the contour around. Okay. It closed in the 60s along with a whole lot of other branch lines. A company called Barter Books have taken over the railway station, you may have heard yes, of. Yes, we have heard of it. an amazing bookshop inside the station, which was a really grand station with a full roof. So now it's a wonderful bookshop which will never let the trains back. So what a bunch of us have got to Together and done is built a new station in the industrial estate on the edge of Annick. We started laying the track this year from Annick back to here, about two and a half miles. We've got half a mile built at the moment, and we've got one steam engine working and giving the public rides. But if you come back here in I don't know, five years time, okay. the steam engines will hopefully come to this platform. So right. if we if we do a, another project to do all the heritage lines, we'll have to come back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> hey, definitely. Sorry, hey, definitely. sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you'd agree to run these things past me. Okay, okay sorry. Well, this was me running it past you. So are you looking for any additional support besides sort of funding? Are you looking for volunteers? Are you looking for people to get involved? Yeah, we're stage? always we're always welcoming volunteers. I mean, there's a website <laughs> I'll just Google Allen Valley Railway and okay. you'll soon find it. We've got plenty of volunteers, but we can always do with more. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, great. Tom, thank you so much. It's been no, a pleasure very to welcome. meet you. Very welcome. <laughs> right. I think we better start walking. Just sign off. Amazing railways are. So, Vicky, oh, yes. this is our last train of the day. Yes. 
tomorrow is our last station. It's our last day in England. Tomorrow, Scotland. We're coming for you. Thanks, everyone. Roll credits.